Today at one, Britain's biggest police force, the Met, accused of institutional racism, misogyny and homophobia. A damning review into the force after the murder of Sarah Everard lays bare its failings and says it may have to be broken up. There is, without doubt, a discriminatory culture right across the Metropolitan Police. It's not in pockets. It pervades the whole organisation. We accept the findings of the report. Obviously, it's a deeply, deeply disturbing report. It sparks a range of emotions, as I'm sure it does for viewers and Londoners. It's, it's a spark sort of anger, frustration, um, upset. And in the last few minutes, the Home Secretary has said the Met faces a long road to recovery and that those not fit to wear the uniform must be prevented from doing so. Also this lunchtime. Boris Johnson accepts he did mislead Parliament over lockdown parties in Downing Street, but says he didn't do it intentionally or recklessly. A warm handshake from the Chinese president for Vladimir Putin, even though the Russian leader is now wanted for war crimes in Ukraine. A new scheme to keep lung patients out of hospital as research shows a sharp north-south divide. And Maddie Hinch, who saved all four penalties to win Olympic gold for Great Britain, announces her retirement. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, he's back. Roy Hodgson returns to Crystal Palace, tasked with keeping the club in the Premier League again.